Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and before I start with this video, I would like to wish you and your family very happy Diwali. As a tradition, every Diwali I make one special video and last week I made a poll asking for what should be topic for this Diwali special video and maximum votes came for day trading strategy and second maximum vote came for swing trading strategy. Despite many people voted for day trading strategy, still I decided to make this Diwali special video on swing trading strategy because there are so many videos available for day traders but hardly there are anything for swing trading so that's why in this diwali special video i am going to show you one simple strategy for swing trading and as usual every time diwali special video will be one unique video this time also it will be unique video with lot of information lot of education and lot of knowledge and in this video i am going to discuss one unique method of identifying stocks for swing trading and also one simple strategy to use for swing trading. So this video is for you if you are into 9 to 6 job, if you are into some other business or if you are a housewife and if you want to earn some additional income along with whatever you are doing then this video is for you. But this video is not for you if you came here just for time pass or if you are not serious about trading or if you are not a hard worker because in this method Every day after office hours, once you come back, you have to spend at least 15 minutes every day after your office hours. And this video is not for you if you are not ready to watch this entire video. Because in this video, I am going to discuss step by step method to identify stocks for swing trading and one simple strategy. So overall, this video is especially for people who are serious about earning some regular income from market. These are the topics which I am going to discuss in this video. First, I am going to discuss what is swing trading and second, I am going to discuss why swing trading is the best method in trading and third, I am going to discuss the most common mistakes people do it while swing trading and the fourth one, I am going to discuss about the swing trading strategy. Now, let us discuss what actually is swing trading. Many people who are experienced, they already know it, so I will not spend much time on this. Swing trading is nothing but holding on to your stocks for average of 5 to 10 days. Just I am giving you approximate duration. Sometime it can be just 2-3 days. Sometime it can be 10 to 15 days also. Now second point let us discuss why swing trading is the best method. And first reason why swing trading is one of the best trading because you have so many stocks to choose from. So when you have hundreds of thousands of stocks to choose from, it is always to choose the best one, right? So there are so many stocks to identify the best setup. And second reason is there is no time bound to close the trade. Unlike in day trading where market opens at 9.15 and 3.30 market closes, you have to square off your position before 3.30. In swing trading, you don't have any time bound like this. You can carry forward your position for the next day or next few days. So that is the one advantage of swing trading. You don't have the restriction that you have to square off the position same day. And now let us discuss what are the common mistakes are done on the swing trading. One of the mistakes done by many people, they watch the news channel and whatever the experts give the recommendation on the news channel, they just go and buy it and that is the mistake many people do it. Watching the news channel and buying the stocks based on the recommendation given on news channel. And second reason is picking the random stocks based on some telegram tips or some tips you have seen on Twitter or some tips on Facebook or somewhere and you buy or sell that stocks. And the next mistake is holding on to the stocks when the trade is not working. That means you bought a stock at 100 rupees and you expect that stock to go at 110 or 120 that is where you want to sell the stock but instead of going up stock comes down comes down it comes to 90 80 70 60 then you will not square off the position you will not take your stop loss instead of that you hold on to your position hoping that one day that stock will go up and then you make profit but it can happen sometimes but also it can sometimes happens that that same stock which was trading in 100 rupees it can come to single digit also and there are examples where stocks which are trading in four digits, three digits, they are trading in single digits now. So that's why don't do the mistake of holding on to stocks. Whatever the method I'm going to show you in this video, that is only for swing trading with a strict stop loss. And this method is not for investment purpose. And next mistake many people do it, applying the strategy without backtesting. That means you have to backtest the strategy and then only you should think about applying in your trading. Because when you do the backtesting, 
you will realize that what is the performance of that strategy previously historically so that it will give you confidence when you take the trade next time and the last one that is risking more than you can afford so that means before applying the strategy you should know that what is the maximum risk you are ready to take in that trade so these are the common mistakes done by traders and last one we are going to discuss is swing trading strategy so in this strategy i'm going to discuss what is the price action criteria where is the entry where is the stop loss where is the target what are the homework you have to do after coming from your office hours that's what i said you have to spend at least 15 minutes every day to apply this strategy so don't skip anywhere while i'm discussing about the strategy section so now let's go to my laptop and let us start with the presentation so now before we start with the chart examples let us just discuss briefly on the presentation what is this strategy is all about after that we'll go to the chart criteria for this strategy is it should be daily time frame candlestick and next one is you should be ready to do the stock selection on weekends so saturday and sunday every week time for your stock selection next is for this strategy i am going to use one one moving average that is 50 moving average so if you have been following me from long time you know that i am a big follower of 20 moving average but this strategy for swing trading i am going to use 50 ama so remember not 20 ama we are going to use 50 ama for this strategy next one is this strategy is applicable only in the rising ama so what is the rising ama that mean ama should be in uptrend that mean ama should be rising not falling okay that you should remember only in rising 50 ama then we will be discussing about the entry then we will be discussing about where is the stop loss because stop loss is important please remember i am not going to give any holy grail method that every time it works sometimes it may not work that's why you have to have stop loss so i'm going to discuss where you have to keep stop loss and where should be your target and finally very important that is risk management that i'm going to discuss along with the excel sheet so this is the strategy which i'll be discussing on the charts now i'll show you step by step method what you have to start with and first thing you have to start with is go to google and type fndo stock list in excel remember this strategy can be applied on any stocks also for example there is a nifty 500 stock there is a small cap stock mid cap stocks you can apply on any stocks it is not necessary that only fndo stocks but as a preference i say better to go for fndo stocks because fndo stocks are high liquidity stocks and normally are good companies so i suggest go for fndo stocks so go to fndo stocks in excel and once you go to fndo stocks in excel you will see fndo stocks list what all the stocks comes under fndo download that excel sheet with all the fndo stocks then open the excel sheet I already have opened the excel sheet so let me show my excel sheet okay now you can see that this is the excel sheet where already i have downloaded all the fndo stocks so there are total i think around 180 or 185 stocks are there in the fndo stocks and once you have downloaded all the stocks then on one side you will have stocks on the alphabetical order another column you will have for rising 50 ama because if you remember i said this strategy is applicable only when there is a rising 50 ama okay now after that next talk next step is go to youtube and type this go to youtube if you don't know how to import stocks in trading view that mean manually adding stocks can take lot of time so there is a option in trading view where you can import the stocks from the excel sheet directly into your watch list this is my trading view chart and when i go to watch list and when i click on nifty fndo stocks it will give me all the nifty fndo stocks in alphabetical order can you see it now next step is what i said you should only look for the rising 50 ama for example this is a acc stocks is it rising or it is falling it is falling right so is it comes under our criteria of rising ema no right it doesn't falls under our rising 50 ema then what we have to do go to that excel sheet and write no okay which are falls under our criteria of rising ema that we have to write as and which doesn't comes we have to write it down as no now let us see next one which is coming under yes adani enterprises you can see that this is also falling adani ports is flat right it is neither rising neither falling so it doesn't fall under criteria 
Ambuja cement doesn't come under our criteria. Apollo Hospital also currently it is flat, so we will not take it. And this is also just Apollo tires, you can see that it just started going up, right? So that also we will not take it. We will look for the proper rising 50 MA. And this is the candidate for you. This is the candidate that is the Arvind Limited. So you can see that rising 50 EMA, right? Rising 50 EMA that falls under our criteria. So then what we will do? We will go to the Excel sheet. So what we will do is we will now go to Arvin Limited and we will type as a yes, right? That is how you have to do it. Manually you have to do it for every stocks. So when I discuss with few of my students, then some students told me that Oh, I have to do it manually for so many stocks. Is there any shortcut? If you are also thinking like that, if there is any shortcut because it takes so much time, it's a hard work, then trading is not for you. This is only for people who are ready to spend this much time and you should enjoy what you are doing. If you ask me honestly whether I like it or I see it as an extra work, I really enjoy doing it. So if you like chart trading, if you like price action, then you should enjoy doing it. So if you are not enjoying, that means trading is not for you. That means you are only looking to earn money. You are not ready to spend extra work and you are not enjoying what you are doing. That means trading is not for you. So coming back to whether you have to do manually. Yes, you have to do manually. But there are softwares also available in the market. Scanning software which can give you rising 20 MA or rising 50 MA. So there are many software that you have to do Google. But if you ask me honestly, I prefer doing manually. Because software can give you wrong information, software can give you error, but your eyes won't give you error and also you will see from your own eyes. Okay, now let's go to the whiteboard and let us discuss this strategy in detail and then we'll go to the chart to know the entry, exit, stop loss, everything. First thing you have understood what I said, first thing is that chart should be having the rising TMA, right? So this is the 50 MA in rising. Next step, where is the entry? Once you have identified the stocks, which is in the rising 50 MA, for the entry, you should wait for the stocks with a candle, which is making a full body candle. So that means when you see that price coming near the 50 MA and makes this kind of full body candle, that is your candidate. Okay. So next criteria is that once you have identified the stocks based on rising 50 MA, next you have to wait for candlestick when it comes and makes a bullish full body candle. Many people ask me, is it okay if it makes a pin bar like this? Remember, pin bar also a bullish price action only. But if you ask me honestly, with my experience, I have seen more than bullish pin bar, full body candle is most important. But same time, remember, this candle should not be too huge candle. So that means if you see that this candle is huge candle like this, then what I suggest, leave that stocks and look for some other stocks. You don't have to trade because you have so many stocks to choose from, right? Unlike when you are trading Nifty Bank Nifty, you have only few indices. But when you are trading stocks, you have hundreds of stocks to choose from. So that's why I look for stocks which doesn't make a huge candle, but same time makes a full body candle. Now next is, where is the entry? Entry should be, once you see that this candle high is broken, that is your entry. Assume that this stock high was, say it was 120 rupees. So then you should enter next day when this candle high breaks, that means once it breaks that 120, which is the high of this candle. So that's why I said you have to every day spend at least 50 minutes. So once you have shortlisted the stocks based on rising 50 MA, that when you do it, you do it on every weekend, right? You have Saturday, Sundays to shortlist the stocks which are in rising 50 MA and you will go to the Excel sheet and you will write yes and no. Then where is the entry? Entry you should wait. For example, if this candle was on, say it is on 5th November, maybe next trading day it can be 6th or 7th whenever price breaks that bullish candle high that comes your entry and where is your stop loss? Stop loss many people must be thinking that below this candle. No, stop loss should not be below this candle. You should look for the candlestick before this candle. 
you should look for what was the candlestick before this candle sometimes you may see a doji candle like this before this candle so that mean if you see if previous candle was bigger than this candle then your stop loss should be here okay so that mean the entry candle or the master candle and candle prior to that one candle prior to that observe the both the candles and if it, this is the master candle bullish candle if previous candle was bigger than this then your stop loss will come below this candle but same time this master candle was bigger than previous candle then stop loss should be below that master candle so what i mean to say that if previous candle was bigger than this candle right then stop loss should be here but same time if previous candle was not too big if previous candle was say bullish or bearish doesn't matter smaller than the master candle then this candle is smaller than master candle right then this candle becomes important so your stop loss should be below that bullish or master candle so now you have understood where you have to keep the stop loss and now we'll go to the excel sheet and let us finally we'll decide how to take use of excel sheet how much quantity where to keep target everything we'll discuss now okay if you remember we discussed this excel sheet right we discussed ss no whenever rising ema the stock is meeting rising ema we will write s when rising ema is not there for accd it did not have rising ema we have to mention no arvin limited we had rising ema that we have to write s for example let me show you again i'll write okay just for example i'll write some no s and then i'll show you you have to apply the filter for example you have seen that these are the stocks i only mentioned uh, up to arvin limited but i said manually you have to do for all stocks then what you have to do then go to filter in your excel sheet and put the filter once you have put the filter then what you do go and click this no and keep only yes and click okay and once you select s only you see that it will give you only stocks which falls under rising 50 ema so you have sorted out now out of hundreds of stocks which are the stocks falling under rising 50 ema and then you will go to the watch list on trading view and then you will look for the setup which we discussed on the white board green candle full body candle and then taking the trade once that full body candle high is broken near the 50 ema let us see some example now adani enterprises doesn't fall adani ports all these are flat apollo tires apollo hospital also we said it has just started rising 50 ma right but arvin already it is in the rising 50 ma and what i said you should look for full body candle full body candle doesn't mean that 100% that mean it should not be a pin bar or it should not be doji for example this kind of candle is fine right so this is the best candidate for this strategy what i said this is your high of that candle this is the low and once you see that next day this candle breaks this candle high that is your entry right what is the high of this candle high of this candle is 171.55 okay so we'll take it as a 172 and what is the low of this candle low of this candle is 163 so whether stop loss should be below this candle or below this candle because i said you should see the candlestick one day before that candle right for example this candle low is above this candle so that mean this candle is not important so we have to refer for keeping stop loss this green candle only right because this candle low is above this candle so our entry becomes above 172 and our stop loss is below 163.55 so we'll keep one or two points difference so we will keep stop loss below 162 okay we will keep stop loss at 162 and we will enter at 172 and now excel sheet comes in your handy to know how you have to enter the trade everything let's go to the excel sheet now okay this excel sheet already you know that right to know which are falling under rising 50 ma then make one more sheet and this is where you have to put all this that mean you have to make a column for entry stop loss quantity target and difference so now let us take the example of that arvin limited only what we said where is the entry entry is 173 right that was the candle high and what is the stop loss we said stop loss at 162 right 
what is the difference difference is 11 points right and now comes next how much quantity this is most important right among all this is most important that is the knowing the quantity how much you have to trade and that is what the many people do the mistake don't know how much they have to take some people take 500 some people may take 1000 2000 if you are trading in fndo future and option there is a specific quantity you have to minimum take one lot and one lot can be any quantity that you have to check it from nsc website or you can check it from the google also but if you are trading in fndo then you have to go as per the lot as per the units but if you are trading in cash then there is no limit okay so what i am discussing here for people who want to trade in cash so first is before taking the quantity you have to know what is your risk how much you are ready to lose in that trade okay any trade you take you should ask yourself so that's why it is very very important that you have to ask yourself what is the risk you are ready to take i've taken the example somebody who is ready to risk 10000 in this trade okay for him how much quantity has to take for him he has to trade with only 909 quantity of urban limited why 909 quantity because stop loss at 11 right if the stop loss hits maximum he will lose is 10000 in this trade so because his risk appetite is 10000 in a single trade okay so don't take it as a generalized statement for some people maybe 10000 also a big amount so let me take another example for a small trader who want to risk only 2000 rupees in a single trade let us see how much he has to trade he has to trade with 182 quantity okay because stop loss at 11 and 182 is quantity so that means if your stop loss hit how much you will lose you will lose maximum around 2000 rupees this column is very important to the quantity based on your risk per trade okay with a risk of maximum risk of 5000 then you can trade up to 455 quantity so that if your stop loss hit your risk will be within your limit and remember this all i have put the excel sheet with the formula okay so what is the formula b2 minus b3 that is entry minus stop loss quantity based on first you have to put how much you are ready to risk if it is 5000 then divided by g2 what is the g2 that is the difference between entry and stop loss so that makes your job easier now what is the target target should be based on one rest to two risk reward that means whatever the risk you have taken you have to book the profit at the double of it so what is the risk you have taken 11 point stop loss you have kept in this trade right 173 your entry stop loss at 162 so what is the target target is double of that that is 22 right so that means it is one rest to two risk reward in this trade so i hope you have understood what i discussed in this excel sheet very very important so that you don't go beyond your risk appetite or you don't do the gambling trade based on your risk management rule okay now comes the last step that is when i said when you're trading in stocks for swing trading you have so many stocks to choose from right hundreds of stocks and you can choose the best but this is also sometimes can be problem for many people because they get confused there are five six stocks showing same kind of bullish candle near the moving near the moving average and they get confused so that's why what i suggest to you is that focus on trading only one stock at a time so if five six stocks are trading at same setup near the 50 ma bullish candle then which to choose that's why again you have to narrow down to the most high probability setup so what is that most high probability setup that i'm going to discuss now okay for example you already we already discussed this is the 50 ma and when you see that stocks coming near the 50 ma and when it makes a bullish candle that is your entry right that you have understood now you see that next time when price again came and again it made a proper bullish candle right now what is the high probability setup because on one side it is meeting our both the criteria that is rising 50 ma bullish candle perfect setup then there is another example okay then there is another example okay same kind of setup again here also like earlier setup it made a bullish candle same kind of candle near that set now comes the question if you have to trade only one stock at a time whether you will go for 
this example which is A and example B. Okay, chart A and chart B. So look at this and ask yourself which one you choose, which is the high probability setup. Take five seconds. If you learn my price action methods, which I keep discussing all my videos, then you should know which is the high probability method. I give you five seconds. Just tell me A or B. One, two, three, four, five. And if you said chart A is high probability, that means you have studied price action. Why A is the high probability? Even though both the charts have met 50 MA, rising 50 MA, making a bullish candle because watch it carefully. This stock has a another support here. What is that support? Previously, it was coming near that level and was reversing from here and then a breakout happened, right? So that is the level which is a, which is a demand zone because of the big breakout from there. And when price came back to the same level, then it is taking support from the level where breakout happened near the 50 MA, near the rising 50 MA and making a bullish candle. In this candle, yes, it is taking support at 50 MA, making a bullish candle, but demand zone is here from where it made a big bounce, right? And this candle is between that demand zone, right? It is not exactly at the demand zone. So that is what I wanted to tell you that when you see this kind of setup in so many charts, then you should go for the chart where it is also taking support from the previous demand zone. Let's go to some charts and let us see whether we can see this kind of setup on our watch list. I have selected couple of stocks to show you high probability setup. For example, this is the Arbindo Pharma, right? Arbindo Pharma 50 MA, rising 50 MA, right? But here you can see that this candle made a bullish candle near the 50 MA. But what I said, that candle high has to be break, broken, right? Then only your entry, but this candle high is not broken. Next day you can see that next candle made a bearish candle, right? So there is no signal here because that high is not broken. Then there is a bullish candle, but this candle closed below 50 MA. What I said, it has to close above the 50 MA, right? This is also not your signal. Then you can see that this candle finally closed above the 50 MA. And that is the high probability setup. Why it's a high probability setup? Because you can see that this candles made a consolidation here, right? So that is a strong resistance here. And this candle has broken that resistance. So when you see this kind of setup, that means that candle is taking support or that candle is making a breakout, that is a high probability. And second reason, other than that it is making a breakout from that consolidation zone, along with that, it is also you can see that it is taking support at this region, right? This candle region, it is taking support. Previous swing low was here and that is a strong support and and exactly this candle when it made a breakout, it is also taking support near that previous swing low which was a demand zone, right? Because there was a big bounce from that level. So that is what makes one high probability setup. Another one I have seen the example of Canara Bank. If you look at this Canara Bank setup also, this is also meeting all our criteria that is rising 50 MA and then Another thing I said for high probability setup, if it is taking any other support, let's go to the left and let us see. Can you see that properly from here? This was the strong resistance zone, right? This was the strong resistance zone. From here, this candle made a big breakout and then started going up. And if you come to the right, you can see that that candle also take it, taken support exactly at the support level and then started going up. So now you have understood what is this setup is all about and what are the high probability setup and where you have to enter, where you have to keep stop loss, how much quantity you have to take because that is the most important and where you have to take the target. So that's about this video all about swing trading strategy for people who are into full time job or somebody is into other business or you are a homemaker or if you are a student. So that's about this video guys. Let me know in the comment section. I have a course called Swing Trading Strategy also that is Advanced Swing Trading Strategy where I discuss some more strategies especially for people who want to trade in stocks for swing trading. So that's about this video guys. 
go below this video section and let me know in the comment section how did you find this Diwali special video. So that's it guys. I'll see you soon with a new video. Until then bye and take care.